Me me. Sergeant Yuri of the Valhallen 545th Armored. Almost drunk enough to forget about that whole Forge World incident. No wait. I just remembered it. Time to order another round. The captain doesn't seem to like my men and women making a mess of his ship's bar. For a car it's my birthday guard get kicked out and left behind on some middle of nowhere ocean planet. One of the ones where all the hives are underwater. Rather than floating. Apparently it's so they can mine minerals from the ocean floor. Governor says something about his miners waking up something or another. Too drunk to care Valhallen with nothing better to do we make our way down. Corridor's too tight for our tanks though. So we're walking. Spasahog flashbacks PTSD governor keeps blasting these messages over the vox about owning your sweat or something. On the way down we sober up enough to notice the architecture changing from the standard imperial gothic change to baroque to black monoliths. Necrons of course it had to be fracking necrons. Be that as myth. Sent out to repair castellans on the ocean floor. Hate this planet. Need to replace my augments every so often so they don't rust. No one appreciates my work. Find the castellan. It's covered in barnacles and seaweed. Open it up to replace the punch cards. Not really bothering with the pointless parts of the ritual as it's not like anyone can hear me down here and I want to be back inside a sap. Suddenly notice something shiny moving in my floodlight. Turn and see a necron hand emerging from the sand. Shitting up and spinnery moving my light I see more necrons are coming out of the ground. Quickly rip out the patrol cards and replace them with combat ones I keep for emergencies. While the castellan holds them off I run as fast as my giant heavy metal legs will let me and send a morse code transmission to my margos to let them know what in the omniscient name is going on out here. Be Princeps Maximus of the Warlord Titian Burning Sun. Got reports of a sea monster that's been harassing an ocean world. Naturally we just had to answer the call. Cage a battle mecher. Water up to the waist of my Titian. Or Specs lets us see the ocean floor as a wireframe. Secretary Iron Skateri I following in our wake in Denerodas. Enemy Cage Uzino spotted sensors. Order troops to hold back from now while we engage. Warhorn MP3. Morderity. Play the song. Bez me. Captain of Dar Red October. Been in submarine for weeks. Looking for Humi City with shinies to loot. Boys jet and restless. Here BP Feng on Dar Sound Hera. Mech says T tack a look at Diz. Humi Tin Boy Code. Trud Signal Orc Technology. Follow Dar Signal and Foin Dar Under Water City of Shinies. Dar Skeleton Boys Exataken. Oh I does my loot freebooter. Deploy boys in metal suits da mech boys made. This is where da fun begins wag. Be princeps maximus of the warlord titian burning sun. Kajer or wav the sea monster was quicker than it looked. It dove into the water like an athlete and swam right up to my titian before surfacing and biting into my volcano cannon. I felt the pain through my connection to burning sun as its teeth and claws rip into the cannon. One of my moderity angles the cannon on my titian's shoulders into its back spine and fires causing it to roar in pain, but only singe its scales. Pull my cannon free from its jaw and punch it with my titian's left power hand. Take a few steps back while it's reeling from the slug. Look around for something I can use. Scans pick up an orc sub. Idea omniscia. Use hand to pick up orc sub. GIF related. Warhorn MP3 be me. Sergeant Yuri. I fracking hate necrons. At first it was just scarabs. Annoying to deal with but doable. Now the warriors have started to wake up. Thank the emperor there's some cover to hold the line. I think all our LAS guns are doing is brushing the dust off. Thankfully it's just infantry so far. No immortals or lords or whatever. Get an idea and tell people to start aiming for the joints at max setting. Legs and arms start flying off the skeletons. That works out better but it's not a permanent solution. Once again missing being able to call in artillery and tanks in these tight places. Get the Vox operator and tell him to call for backup. He says all the chatter is apparently about some cagey battle on the surface. That sounds pretty cool and all, but we need some fracking backup down here a sap. Just then hear a scream. Turn and see a guardsman's sixth worst nightmare. Flayed ones. Of course it had to be flayed ones. 
Fuck my life slanish bez me or commander nob dalwog. Cruising in a submarine owned by Warbus Royjit. Da boss heard dat jit on da red October was down air somewhere. Royjit wants revenge for nicking his severed hand he stitched to his armor. Da mark boy reports dat day found da jits. But da humis stompers using da red October as a chopper against a biggin. Royjit orders me and my commanders to get into da wet clothes and use da special water bikes ta sneak in da stomper. So I do. Me and my 10 commanders get fired out via da torpedo bay and began da journey to da stomper. I just hope we don't accidentally get crumped in da process. Also glad I brought one of dem fancy torches da mechs use. Be princeps maximus. Be bashing the cager with the orc sub. Thing is sturdier than it looks and makes for a surprisingly effective club. Several green skins fall out and start digging their choppers into the monster like ants get a call from the secutary I alpha. Apparently some orcs on jet skis are headed for my titian. Tell them to handle it and wind up for another blow with the orc sub. Bez me. Captain of da red october. Mech boy says da humi stomper is gonna grab us. Before we can move. Da ship is squeezed like a Gretsch and then tilted to da right and we all go up fast. Here da ship groan and break as we is bashed on something big and angry. Crew is shaken around like a box of daka. Oh I like Dizumi's style. Oi's not even mad about me ship. Diz is a fun roid and da jit is thinking proper oki. Hits are so fast probably because da sub is red. Da Red October has brought up for a big hit and gets broken. Boys cling on with Da Choppers. See a giant beast high in front of me. Pull out me a Fuka shooter and fire at Da Beast. Why again P3. Bez me or Commander Nob Dalwog. Wes finally arrived to Da Stomper. ITZ fight in a proper big lad. Wes finds a way Wes thinks might be goods. Bring out da special burner and bring it to thar metal. Holding on to da stomper with me overhand. Daka boy mort keep in my hand with da burner steady. This gonna be good once wes get into da stomper. ORZ it might get flooded. Grimskull chuckle vox b princeps maximus of the warlordtician burning sun. The orc sub snapped in half with my latest swing. However the orcs inside are have started shooting and stabbing the keiju. Get the warning someone is cutting into my titian's leg contact up secretary I alpha and ask him why he wasn't doing his one job apologies my lord. But the troops we sent to intercept the green skins are currently caught up in a three way battle on the ocean floor. Grown Godengeen. I have to do everything my said. The keiju has started bitting my titian's head. I drop the half of the orc submarine I was holding and try to get a grip on the beast. Bez orc commander Nob Dalwog. Still cutting into Da Stomper. Big monster roaring and jumping Da Stomper with its jaws. Is can hear one of Da boys laughing at Da sight of Red October's crew shooting the monster is meanwhile finally cut a hole into Da Stomper and squeeze myself in. Water follows behind as does my boys. Where's Nels and Da Stomper? Commander Sneaky Gits. Begin to move up. Not sure what Wes really wants from Da Stomper to be frank. Ah well if Wes gets a stomper then boss Royjit might be pleased. Probably use it to crump Da Yumi cities. Wes making some progress in Da Stomper when some metal boys show up and start firing their daka. Order lads to take over. One lad gets too much daka and dies. Oh well Wes got plenty of boys left. I ready my slugger and peek around and begin firing. Oh I blames get 10 blames is our rocket boy. He pulls out his custom made rocket launcher and readies what he calls da biggin wes provides some covering fire whilst he finishes readying da biggin he then turns da corner and fires da biggin into da metal boys. Kaboom daka. Be sergeant yuri. Some of the more zealous insane Valhallans decide to fix their bayonets and start stabbing the million year old robo skeleton covered in the skin of miners while it's distracted flaying one of our own. It goes better than you might think. Thankfully it's just one so far. So we might just be able to haul. A beam of green light almost hits my head. See a Necron destroyer hovering from the door. Fuck the shit I'm out Vox order a retreat back to the elevator. Vox ahead to the miners to set up explosives and collapse the tunnels behind us. This is too much for guardsmen to deal with. 
try to see if we have any way of contacting anyone else with more firepower once we leave the tomb. B. Princeps Maximus of the Warlordition Buring Sun. The beast is digging its teeth into my head. I can see them poking in the cockpit from my throne. Warning warning. Hull breach detected in cockpit. Warning warning. Hull breach detected in left leg. Immediate maintenance requited. Error error. Salt water detected in left leg. Immediate maintenance required. Warning warning. Hostile Xenos life signs detected in left leg. What in the Omnishia's name are my supposed protectors doing? I thought the whole point of having Secutarii following me around was to deal with the infantry so I could focus on the bigger threat. Kaboom Daka. Scream of pain machine spirit. Leg feels like someone ripped it off. Warning warning. Explosion detected in left hip. Stabilization error. Everything has started tilting to the left. We're going down. Mayday mayday. Bjork Commander Nob Dalwog. Turns out Blaine's biggin did more than wipe that lot of metal boys more water coming in. Order all boys to keep moving. Wes gots to get control of this stomper even though it's tilting. Wes can have Darmex patch it up later. Or turn it to scrap. Wes keep moving up da leg swimming when needed. As we emerge from da water I pull out my chopper and lop off da head of a metal boy we emerged out on. Commandos where's gonna wire arg begin firing with slugger as does my other boys not named Blains. He hasn't reloaded his rocket launcher. Stupid Blains. Be that as myth. As I flee from the Necrons I see something loom over. Look up and see an orc sub deploy a bunch of boys in dive suits. Realize we're going to need more than just one Castellan. So I change my route back to the airlock and start reprogramming as many battle automata to fight as I can. Thankfully the orcs are keeping most of the necrons busy. Suddenly a giant metal hand lifts up the sub. Omnitia is that you? Notice a giant scaly leg and realize it was actually just a Titian fighting the sea monster that I've been hearing about for the past 3 months. Also see orcs on jet skis headed for the Titian's leg and cutting inside. Pull out my gamma pistol and fire a few shots at them but they don't notice and get into the god engine. After looking up in sheer shock and horror for the blasphemy for a bit I see an explosion in the Titian's left leg joint. The Titian is coming down on top of us. I sprint away as far as I can. Metalex don't fail me now pray be Sergeant Yuri. Make it out of the tomb and into the mine. Start climbing up the scaffolding of the mine and firing down into the necrons and avoiding gorse shots. Suddenly you hear a loud crash from above us. Like someone just dropped a capital imperialis. The tunnel shakes all around us and rocks start falling sealing the entrance to the tomb. Before we can celebrate, water pours in from some of the holes. Go 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 guard we all climb the scaffolding even faster. Need to make it to the elevator before this whole place floods. Be princeps maximus. Omnisiad am it my leg fucking hurts. Burning sun is screaming in my head. I can feel its pain. It's my pain. I can hear my ancestors yelling at me. I hear the error messages in my mind. The reactor wants to blow. I can feel my heart pounding out of my chest. I try to soothe the machine screaming as best I can. Blood is spilling down my nose. We're going down yell one of the mordarity. Watch as the ocean gets closer and closer. Sploosh wav. We continue our fall to the ocean floor. Water is leaking into the bridge from the teeth holes the beast made. Slam vox. Everyone is jerked forward as we hit the ocean floor. Sparks are flying from the Mordarity's consoles. The eyes are cracked. We've landed face down. I hear the Titian groan and feel the cage step on top of me. I don't need to hear it to know it is currently roaring in triumph over my defeat before we can even think about what to do next. Hear a banging on the door behind us. At first I think it's someone here to rescue us and use the last bit of my power to open the door. Several orc commanders in skin tight black wet suits fall forward onto the inner face of the Titian. They then get up, take out their shooters and point them all around. Then look up and point them at me and my crew. Diz as a stick up. Hand over your dacker and our stomper. My face when. Be secretary I alpha of x4. Watch from my Scorpius Dunerida as my master burning sun leans to one side then falls into the deep. We have failed to protect our charge. A tsunami from burning suns fall rushes towards us. 
We hold on but I can tell through the new sphere some of the other Scorpii capsize, spilling the tech guard into the deep and the battle going on down there. Once the wave is past I hear a roar and look up to see the Xeno beast atop our god engine letting out a mocking roar of triumph. Rage the machine. New sphere. Order all remaining Scorpii. Skaterii. And Secutarii to open fire. Drive our hovercraft closer to the colossal Xeno. Deploy a Taraxii to harass the beast. The green skinned still cling to its scales like insects. Chipping away at it slowly. We could not protect Burning Sun, but in the Omnishia's name we will avenge it. Be Necron Lord Bob 30 of the Bob Dynasty. Wake up from million year slumber. Tomb Spider informs me that some primitive vermin have colonized my tomb world, and are currently fighting another primitive vermin race, plus titanic sized critters that apparently evolved from the humble Iquanadon during our slumber. Well. Now seems like as good a time as any to start driving them from the planet. Order my legions to mobilize. But most of them fail to awaken. Or are rickety malfunctioning pieces of shit. Or have gone batshit insane. Hum. I need to think about this more. Start teleporting the most worthless ones into the primitive cities at random. Some of the primitives and dead animal for use archaic laser weapons to damage the limbs of the most decrepit warriors. In their vegetable alcohol fueled haze, they even start knocking over warriors and damaging their crude blades on the much stronger surfaces of the warriors necrodermis masks and ribs. Little of this damage is lasting of course, eventually the warriors self repair and get back up some warriors are slain 4-5 times in a short time frame. It is debatable if their slayers even realize they are fighting the same enemy over and over, but the warriors inability to aim their weapons fire their weapons, or in a some cases even have weapons, some have somehow discarded them in favor of strange claws, is troubling I will need to think about this more, but first I will watch this crew 2D transmission my tomb spider intercepted called planetary government sanctioned pornographic images ration, version 11 how I miss having flesh. So I hear you guys are into thick big titty wafers. Well we got you covered at nickbedgear.co.uk, one stop shop for Kumja models. However we do sell a lot more than just smart models we got everything for running any fantasy settings and even some not grim dark science fiction models. In fact we even have some anime inspired models and video game. But if models is not your thing we also have some role playing adventures and dnd 5e meme subclasses. Also every video we will be giving away all our homebrew content to a subscriber of the channel. All you got to do to be in with a chance is subscribe. Today's winner is this guy. Well done. Claim your prize by contacting us via email at nickbedeacontact at gmail.com. Now let's get back to the video. Besmi or Commander Nob Dalwog. Wes finally arrived to the head of Dar Stomper. Immediately fall forward because tilting. Get back up and point my slugger at Dar Yumis along with my other boys. Diz as a sticker. Hand over your Daka and Dar Stomper I have my slugger pointed directly at Dar head of Dar Yumi and Dar fancy chair. Can hear Dar big and roaring its head off. Radio boy wants to get Dar boss on the line. Tell him to do it whilst we continue to hold up Dar Yumis. Be Sergeant Yuri. Get out of elevator on the hive level. Had to watch that stupid vid again. Look out one of this place's many windows see Legia Sibonetica. Fighting Necrons. Fighting Orcs and Dive Suits. With some Skaterii sprinkled in here and there for good measure. All around the corpse of a fallen Titian. And a giant cage you're stomping around. Whoa. Sure does suck out there. I wonder if this hive has a place that sells Grox dogs. Be Princeps Maximus. I try to open my mouth and explain to the orc that even though my Titian is quite literally dead in the water, there was no way I'm the warp I was giving it up, but instead I cough up blood and slump forward in my throne without getting a word out thankfully the leader doesn't seem to notice as his vox operator hands him a tin can on a string and he starts speaking into it. I lean to one side and notice my moderity slowly going for their sidearms hope the green skins don't notice. Be Necron Destroyer. 
have vague memories of this planet being a nice world before going to sleep was planning on melting the caps and drowning everything when I woke up planet now full of life sustaining oceans. Have to do this the old fashioned way. Annoyed Siwav. Besmi or Commander Nob Dalwog. Dayumi isn't giving us Da Stomper or Da Daka. As a display of my threat I shoot one of his Yumi friends he's leaning over towards headshot bloody mess perk. Bits of brain go all over da place. Jivin ya your last chance Yumi. Hand over da stomper. Or else where's gonna crump ya harder den ya friends aim my slugger at his head as I order my boys to keep all dear sluggers aimed at the two Yumis. All da while the big monster is roaring its head off. Shut ya gob ya oversized squiggly beast still bez dalwog. Radio boy finally got da communications ready. Tell them to keep slugger same whilst I talk to our boss. Boss where's secured da stomper just waiting for da Yumi to get out of his fancy chair. Where's already made an example of his friend why you wasting time on Yumi's yajit just shoot him. Because boss where's wants them properly disconnected from da stomper don't we. Just shoot da human and get me that stomper before da beast completely scraps it. Sending over da mechs now alroid boss and astard be me. Princeps Maximus of the Warlordtician Burning Sun. Watch in slow motion as one of my moderities head gets blown off blood, augments, and grey matter splattering across my face and his console before he slumps forward, blood dripping down to the green skins and into the now knee deep water where they're standing. Last chance jit. Well I guess I have no other choice. Omnitia forgive me. I lean back in my throne and use my plugs to activate the reactor's self-destruct sequence now to keep them here for just a few seconds. Besmi or Commander Nob Dalwog. Yumi reclines in his chair. I think he's giving up. I grin a toothy grin as I aim my slugger at his head and blow his brains out. My other boy blows his other friend's head off and I scramble towards da fancy chair order boys to stations and begin screaming at da top of my lungs while I get a few beeps popping up. Something about a self-destruct sequence. Ignore it and order boys to wag some more. Eventually the power of da wag allows us to start up da stomper. Slowly it begins to rise so I give it a kick and it begins to fully ready itself self destruct sequence alarm is annoying. Block it out and ready da fist to punch da big sea squig. Hello where's got a stomper now boys why are gupper cut da sea squig as da stomper slowly rises da leg tilting us left slightly self destruct sequence still annoying me. Order radio to smack wherever the alarm is with a hammer. Be me. Secretary Ivex 4. Suddenly witness burning sun stand up somehow and knock the beast off of itself. While the keiju is getting back up the titian then uppercuts it making it stagger what and the omnishia's name data packet. Burning sun is sparking like crazy and still missing its left leg. No idea how it managed to stand up or how it's keeping its balance. The water around the titian has started to boil and my Geiger counter is going off I think the reactor has started to melt down trying to contact the princeps but all I'm getting is static and wagging. I have a bad feeling about this jiff. Besmi or Commander Nob Dalwog. As Wes up cut it Darcy squig i laugh and glee as suddenly it starts feeling warmer die alarm is saying 5. Oh I where is radio at? He should have bashed it into working condition as get distracted as da squiggly beast thrusts its jaws towards da stomper. We have da stomper punch it and da jaw breaking off its reef. It's lodged on da stomper's fist. 4. 3. 2. Oh I fix da feng 1. Oh zog the stomper begins to explode taking both da stomper and da squiggly sea beast with it in a giant explosion. All of da commandos are killed in the blast. Scrap metal from the burning sun begins to fall towards the ground after being sent up into the sky. Pick related. B Sergeant Yuri. After a few hours of searching we managed to find a diner that was still open on the opposite side of the hive from the fighting. Pick related. We all take up a couple booths in the back corner and start having a good time. Laughing. Joking enjoying ourselves. Soon we hear what sounds like an explosion and feel the hive shake. The diner staff look around a bit worried wondering what just happened. But we all toast to not being anywhere near whatever that was with our recently arrived drinks. We are effectively stranded here for the foreseeable future. 
So we all start betting on what kind of enemy is going to show up next before we find a way off this planet. Bez me. Captain of Da Red October. Humi Stomper drops me ship into Da Water. Mech Boy gives me an air mask before I drown. Eden gets T work fix and D sub. Unfortunately duct tape done work so well on Da Water. As he try to fix it the Humi Stomper goes down then get up and explodes couple of seconds later we is sent flying under our Darcy and crash and the Humi Seater. Wes crash through a dome over a park. Pick related. Adjust me captain hat. What? Sound off. Hos still alive. Be me. Mordo Octavius of the Death Watch. Heading to a water world with my squad to contain foul Xenos. Kaja class arrive in system and begin orbiting the planet. Our objective should be near an underwater hive city. The Xenos slumber for now, but an awakening could doom countless citizens. And most importantly, the resources this world produces. Even the slightest disturbance could awaken them. Go through the usual scans of the world and system news. Nuclear explosion detected near a battle site between a Keiju and a Titan. Maybe the Death Watch is not needed for once. Check the Hilovids of the battle. That's funny. It's smaller than expected. And why is there only one? Be me. Ancient sea creature that was originally frozen in ice before the Great Thor. Called the Great Leviathan in days long since past. I am stirred awake by the sounds of a detonation going off. Nuclear by my best estimates. I fully emerge from my resting place at the very depths. A destroyed mega structure of black stone is where I slept. I break through it and begin my ascent to the upper parts of the ocean. My mind slowly fully awakening its immense psychic energy. Upon its full awakening and upon reaching a vast mega city I let out a psychic roar across the world. The great Leviathan awakes. Best captain of Da Red October. Mech boy is working on da half of da sub. Some of da boys and grots who was in da sub with fuzz as help and somehow dis park hasn't flooded yet. Must have a good drainage system. Des it go for a walk and look around. Maybe for in some tnt crumb. See some homies come out of one of dem homie hollers with da metal lids dowdy has mer limbs. They start painting the wall with a weird symbol. Oh I what yow's doing. They run like grots and lift up an oath homie hole and go down. Look at D symbol. Pick related. Funny. Kind looks like dat big and the humi stomper was crumpin. Be the great leviathan. Turns out there were plenty of other sea life forms that evolved during my slumber large fish. Massive crustaceans. And even those cephalopods evolved into formidable beasts. All go before my presence however as I see the partially destroyed corpse of a creature I do not recognize. Seems to be a beast evolved for the seas yet seems so very off world. Furthermore its color doesn't blend in contrast to me which is the closest thing it could be white and purple. Though the red of its blood and the black of nuclear detonation did make it harder to identify I let out my psychic power into the world trying to probe any minds of all life forms. Be that as myth. Witness the warlord Titian miraculously stand up then explode. Killing the beast from a safe distance. Kaboom MP3. The crater left behind by the detonation reveals an entrance to the tomb below the hive city. A whirlpool starts to form. Sucking in many surviving necrons. Orcs. Castellans. And Skaterii. Toilet flush wave. Not sure if it will actually solve all our Necron and Orc problems but it certainly can't make them worse. Watch the massive whirlpool for a bit from the safety of my position. Almost looks like a hurricane next to the hive city. Not sure how long it will be before it floods the entire tomb. Be Sergeant Yuri. Our meals have finally arrived. My men and women dig into Grox burgers and Grox dogs. I cannot express how fucking good this stuff tastes after eating nothing but rations. While we eat we see on the news a giant whirlpool has formed at the site of the battle. Also an even bigger Xeno monster has appeared there. However the Death Watch have apparently also arrived in system and should be deploying to deal with it any minute now. We salute the mad bastards in the Emperor's finest. And once again toast to being far away from the cluster fuck with our refilled drinks. Then some of the diner staff come out with a cake and candles singing. My men told them it was my birthday. 
or you guys shouldn't have. Beatraz in the infinite. Get word about a giant creature that's apparently the last of its species and has just woken up. A fine addition to my collection Engram. Open Dolmen Gate to Tomb, only to find out it's full of water. Manage to close gate before it floods my museum. HM Hieroglyph. This may be harder than I thought. Looks like we're taking the fleet this time Bez Captain of Da Red October. Make way back to Red October. Ask mech boy if be got the sub work Nagan. He says he needs a new back part to get a T work. Whereas we suppose to get a new back. Not like one has just gonna fall out of the. Suddenly hear a crash above us. Beaky drop pod slams down in the park and the death watch commas out. Seriously. Yak holder just used the whole where's already made ill it. Bloody roo. They start using dead daka. But there's no match for me boys deep sea suits and me a fuka shooter why gawk. Where's Surin and kill the squad of BPs? Ask D mech f where's cam use the drop pod as a new back. He do some calculations and says it's possible. But where's definitely need t paint that red t really work. Whereas we suppose t find red paint. Look at the dead BPs. Idea cunning. Be Mordo Octavius of the death watch. As soon as the astropath's nose started bleeding we began deployment. Not a moment too soon. There's a whirlpool leading to a necron tomb below the city. And a giant suspiciously colored leviathan is also emerging from the growing maelstrom so much for an easy job. Just glad there's only one. So far. Suffer not the alien to live mp3. Land in the underwater hive city. Seal up the hole made by the pod with recrete foam. Stupid fucking idea putting a hive city underwater. Get a report that an entire squad has been wiped out by orcs. What JPG? Decide we need meat shields. Ahem. Auxiliaries to help us on the mission. Head over to Imperial Guard signals in a nearby restaurant. Why am I hearing singing? Be Sergeant Yuri. Don't even get to take a single bite of cake before a death watch marine squad kicks down the door. Their leader looks around confused for a bit before his eyes find my men. He then stomps over and demands our help slaying the beast. Uh, why the frack are you coming to us? 1. We don't have fully sealed suits of power armor. 2. We aren't genetically modified super soldiers. 3. We don't have belters. 4. We don't have any vehicles. 5. We aren't from an organization that was specifically founded to fight Xeno Horrors. 6. We were here to exterminate some Necrons. And we failed at that. Not Slayer Keiju. 7. We're a relatively small armored regiment that just took losses. Pretty sure this is one of the few cases where the marines outnumber the guardsmen. How does this guy expect us to make any meaningful contribution? Be Mordo Octavius of the Death Watch. Found the local guardsmen. They were in the middle of a birthday celebration. Now the leader is lecturing me. A veteran of a thousand wars who's spent more time fighting than he's been alive. About why he won't join. If I were more zealous I would punch this fool's head off. Unfortunately for him I am down a squad. I have already lost one whole squad to greenskins. You will be their replacement. Still not sure how that happened. Brother Sulla. Give this one a spare melter charge. And lead them to the entrance. Destroy the source of these foul monstrosities. Start planning a revenge attack on those orcs with the rest of my squad. Be the great leviathan. After failing to psychically probe the life forms I swim towards the city. Tendrils follow behind me as I speed through the sea. Go past a few glass panes at such speed that it looks like a blur of dark green. I then stop at what I can only assume as their biggest building and simply float in place staring down the small creatures that have built this city for themselves. Let out a physically roar to make myself known. My form is akin to that of a massive sea serpent, with several tendrils behind me and one on either side of my body as if they were arms. As I stare down to the life forms below I see some strange multi-limbed one start praying to me. I use my psychic abilities to probe their minds. They think I'm something called a star child. I'm flattered by the compliment but that's factually untrue. Decide to start my attack now. My tendrils lash out towards the protected city. Whipping some of their protective layers so that they may break. Be Sergeant Yuri. 
I have already lost one whole squad to greenskins. You will be their replacement. Still don't think this guy gets just how far ahead of us space marines are supposed to be. Give us a line to hold and we'll do it. But actually killing a giant monster in the middle of the ocean should be their job. Brother Salah. Give this one a spare melter charge. And lead them to the entrance. Destroy the source of these foul monstrosities. A marine with blackbird symbol with a blood drop in the middle grumbles before giving us a single astart size melter charge. It's painted blue and yellow and covered in Norse ruins. The marines then leave like this is supposed to settle the matter. I'll consider this a birthday present. Waiter, can we use this to pay for all our meals and the damages caused to your door by our uninvited guests? Bez Captain of Dar Red October. A bit of work. And a paint job latter and our red October is ready T swim again. Now with some extra daca courtesy of Darbikis. Now's we need T smash just do. A giant tentacle detroit D dome. Flippin D park. Must be me lukey day. Me boys leg it into D sub close D hatch and start D engine. With D sub B and so pony now we is twice as fast. Use the new daca on D tentacle. Why gawk. Be the great leviathan. After destroying a dome I pull my tendril back and only for it to receive some wounds from a weirdly designed vessel. One of my eyes turns towards it as I let out a roar. Glare at the vessel once more and begin to swim at great speed towards it. Use psychic energy to fire at it whilst approaching. Mostly in the form of sending out arcs of lighting towards it. The sounds of the lightning are audible even to the scavengers that reside in the abyss let out another roar this time I enhance it with psychic might to bring all sea creatures to aid me. They obey seeing as I am the most powerful thing in the food chain. Soon enough I'll be joined by every sea creature of the planet for the assault. At this point I want everything off of my planet. A tentacle of my slaps at the vessel during the approach smacking it around slightly. Best captain of Dar Red October. D tentacle pulls away and we hear a roar of pain. D new beaky engine is working like a dream. We is super fast now. Our driver loves it and says he feels like a flyboy. Da mega big and starts T fire lightning from his head. However E T Z too slow for our red paint. Driver is hooting and wiring as he dodges da bolts having a great time. We is tumbling around the inside like when the humi used our ship as a chopper. It gets Luki tentacle hits us and we start spinning like a drill. We've lost a wing. Chris D mech. Our driver doesn't miss a beat and keeps going des boy D spinning. What y'all's thinking of doing? D driver keeps his eyes forward. As aiming for D O I O Zog. Be the great Leviathan. The vessel seems to be spinning out of control. So I fire out another beam of psychic energy into it opening my jaw wide. Final flash beam. The beam fires out and hits the vessel but doesn't rip it asunder. This is because I saw a giant crab and wanted to let him have some fun. As it spirals down the crab grabs it with its pincers and begins to crush it. I turn my attention back to the city and fire another beam this time towards the tallest building I can see. Color me surprised. I'm actually having a decent time. Haven't had this much fun since I hunted down and ate that white whale that used to live here. B Sergeant Yuri. Thankfully the diner staff was nice enough to accept the Astartes Melter Bomb as payment. Finally we get to finish my cake and relative peace. Aside from the Keiju attack. After that we started looking for a way off this planet before the Tyranids. Or Chaos. Or something show up. As we go through the hive we see out one of the windows a half orc sub half drop pod spinning. Dodging lightning and tentacles. It passes out of view of the window but then something bright happens that we can't really see. Then the hive starts shaking again. I shake my head. How an starts expected us to fight a monster like that is beyond me. But if anyone could handle it, I'm sure the death watch will be fine. We turn a corner and find some miners with forried ridges and extra limbs. We both stare at each other for a bit before they suddenly start firing their guns at us. My men duck into nearly shops and start firing from the doorways. Never a dull moment in the guard. No matter how hard we try. B Trooper Sasha. Valhalla Nice Warriors. Our regiment is pretty much just a few platoons now. Not even sure High Command remembers we are still alive. 
otherwise they probably would have merged us with one of the other Valhalla regiments in the sector. Not even sure if anyone important on the planet realizes we are here. We kind of just got kicked off the decrepit or barge we were traveling on ever since the marines rescued us from that forge world. Yuri is still in charge, but he doesn't really seem to care anymore. So we just wander about the city avoiding fights with orcs and necron. Eventually everyone gets pretty drunk and end up wandering off in different directions end up in some upscale club with a few other soldiers. Everyone is celebrating the end of the world by wearing weird masks snorting coke, and being degenerates. Grab a glass of hard liquor with coke mixed into it. It isn't Tanner but I guess it will do. Be the great leviathan. After firing my beam of psychic energy J swim around the city staring down at the mortals below. Seems the ones whose minds I probed have begun to fight the ones who don't look like them. Well this got a lot more interesting. Doubly so now that some giant squids have decided to come and see what all the fuss is about. I dominate their minds and order them to attack the city. Smug devil grin. Ready another beam of psychic energy to fire at anything really just got to not hit the squids beatras in the infinite. Fleet arrives in system. As we make our way to the planet we find a death watch battle barge in orbit you are kleptomaniac. Should I stay focused and get what I came for? Or get distracted by the new thing. Choices choices hollow. Be Mordo Octavius of the Death Ward Claw. The city is shaking as the Leviathan we were supposed to kill before it awoke is hitting the spires and dome with laser beams. The battle barge has informed me a Necron fleet has also arrived. Brother Sulla reports that a guardsman gave the melter bomb to some civilians and left as I start to radio him with orders I notice an orc submarine out the window. A space marine drop pod welded on as an engine block. A black space marine drop pod that's been haphazardly painted red. Rage JPG. If I were a blood angel I'd go into one of their seizures they always have. Need to figure out a plan to sink the orcs and disable that leviathan. Check the city manifest. Primary shipment is a material that destroys oxygen. Secondary export are cyclonic torpedo shells. Light clicks. Oxygen destroyer JPG. Be the great leviathan. Fire another beam of psychic energy at the city threading the needle between my two giant squid companions. It breaks part of the dome and water continues to flood in. Several schools of fish begin swimming over to my location. Order them to go for the holes in the dome with my mind. The fish obey and begin frantically swimming towards the domes with the intent to kill squids or slapping exposed buildings that didn't get immediately broken by the pressure of the water. They are also slapping the domes. The little life forms are panicking due to us and the multi-limbed ones with funny foreheads I decide to swing around and have a look to see what's worth firing at with another beam my colossal form swimming through causes massive tidal waves above. I'm the king of the ocean baby. Be Sergeant Yuri. We manage to kill enough of the cultists the rest decide to retreat. Or it could be they realize shooting at the giant glass window behind us was a stupid idea. Or maybe their god or whatever told them to go somewhere else. Either way I'm calling it a victory. While we were fighting the flood klaxons went from we have a serious problem to everyone needs to leave now. Sasha's disappeared again. But she's a big girl I'm sure she'll be fine. Probably. Maybe. I send some guys to look for her. We decide to make our way for the spaceboat and leave before the Death Watch decides to exterminate us this planet or something. I don't think their fight with the Keiju is going well if these hive quakes are any indication. Before we go I inspect one of the bodies and find a metal charm with a familiar shape to it. Yet that confirmed it's alright. I own a Koli 25 phones. Be the great leviathan. I stare at the city in chaos. It's all so amusing. I decide to swim to the top of the sea. My colossal head breaks through the waves and I let out a loud roar. My body and limbs follow suit as I stare up at the sky. Been a while since I last saw it. The sun against my skin feels amazing. Then it turns dark and stormy. Probably due to those big black and green things in the sky. One of them looks similar to the building I was slumbering within. I wonder how far my beams can travel. Nah best not test it. Let out another roar. Today has been a fun day. Be me. Deathwatch Brutalus Dreadnought Isaac of the Angry Marines. 
When I awaken I find much to my displeasure that I'm still under the command of that fucking coward. Noah's Marado Octavius. Always deploying himself in nice friendly territory. Always trying to get the local planetary militia to go in first. Always standing behind his men. Always eager to try out some fucking new inquisition toy rather than man the fuck up and charge the Xeno scum like a proper fucking astart. He acts like he's a fucking marines malevolent sometimes. Oh wait, is he a marines malevolent or am I getting him confused with the other guy? Either way even if he's not he fucking sucks. Learn from my fellow death watch that during the entire time I was asleep Mordil hasn't done a damn thing. He apparently hasn't even killed a single fucking Xeno. In fact he lost a single squad by deploying them next to some fucking green skins. Effectively bringing his Xeno kill count into the negative. In fact that same band of orcs he lost a squad to went on to do more damage to the monster than him. Fucking heresy Vox. The tech marines get me to a drop pod and I deploy. Sensors pick up a Kaja class Xeno roaring on top of a hive city. Target acquired for the emperor. Aim my drop pod and shove it right down the Xeno's fucking throat. Hear squelching noises outside till I reach the stomach. Belly of the beast vor. Kick down the door to my drop pod. Xeno's stomach acid drips down on me but it's no match for my dreadnought chase. Time to get to work. Raise my brutalous claws and start slashing through the Xeno's stomach. This is how it's done moron. Be me the great leviathan. During my roar I fail to shut my gob in time as a large object drops into it I partially choke slightly before it shoots straight down and into my stomach the thing is moving beginning to slash into my stomach. Alright it's on then. Psychically link up with some giant crabs. Swim down to meet them and order them to get in my gob and stomach. If they kill what's inside I'll regurgitate them. They comply and once my jaws open they crawl inside and fall down to meet whatever is ripping apart my stomach. The crabs land on some undigested bits and begin their assault on whatever's inside I then turn my attention to the city again and slowly begin to swim over readying another psychic beam to tear apart more of it. If I die before this city crumbles I'll be pissed. Be giant enemy crabs. Team of four. Ordered by the Leviathan to fight whatever is in its stomach. Sir yes sir. Turns out it's some big crab in metal. Begin pinching sequence. Eight crab claws ready to pinch and crush this thing to a pulp. Maybe it has something soft and gooey inside to eat. Um gooey meat. Grab at an armor plate and crush into it. Be death watch brutalous dreadnought Isaac of the angry marines. Hacking into the Xeno stomach wall is proving tougher than I originally thought. This thing's flesh is almost as strong as. Suddenly something grabs onto my limbs and starts to squeeze. Fuck off. The heavy stubber at the top of my body swivels around and sprays my attack as I turn around and see giant creature has swallowed some crabs. Just like my ex-wife heresy. One charges at me pinching its claws. So I grab onto its arms snapping them at the elbow and beating it with its own arms to a pulp. Another grabs me from behind again. But again my stubber swivels around and shoots at it as it lets go I swivel around and dig my claws into it to hold it in place while I fry it with my multi meltus bracketing my sarcophagus. Of course moron Octavius chooses that moment to vox me and ask where the hell I am. I'm busy. Fuck off. Then mute him and drop the barbecued crab and stomping on it. Two down two to go. One charges at me so I walk slowly towards it again fire my multi meltus at it to the point of overheating till the charred crab collapses into a smoking mess. For good measure I stomp on it as well. The last one lets out a scream and I shove my claw into its open mouth. Puree blender. Now that that was dealt with I return to the hole I was making and start fire my multi meter before cutting. Cook it me to Sasirtaka chief. Be the great leviathan. I hear a scream within my stomach seems the giant crabs didn't work. Rage Keiju. Going to have to cause myself to puke. Thankfully the corpses of the crabs provide me with enough fuel to hurl. My stomach also feels extremely warm due to whatever the hell the thing inside is using begin gagging sequence. Stomach acid begins to rise up as the bodies of the crabs and some of my blood mixes into it. Slap myself hard with a tentacle. I feel myself ready to hurl. 
turn my head towards the city and begin to puke dislodging bits of crab and beginning to push the foreign object out of me. Use tentacle to keep slapping myself in the stomach to further bash the thing out. Hurling sequence continues. Hopefully I can puke this thing into the city or into the water I am so blowing this thing to kingdom come with my beam attack. One of the squids is looking at me funny. Once the thing's out I'll just have it grab onto the foreign object and then fire. I'll kill a squid in the process but more sea life forms are coming due to sensing the panic and blood. Probably wasn't a good idea on their part to build a city in the ocean. Pick somewhat related. Be death watch brutalist dre. Fuck it. Just be Isaac. The stomach acid starts to rise and the muscles around me start undulating. Dig my claws into the walls of my hole and brace. The monster is trying to puke out my genocide. Just like my ex-wife heresy. Bits of crab and other stuff knock around and I feel something hitting me outside the stomach. Suddenly I smell bitch. The debris turned back on my comb and moron Octavius is whining at me again I told you. Fuck off I'm busy. Mute his ass again as the acid level goes down. My drop pod is gone. With any luck the monster will think that was me but if they don't and keep trying to vomit me up I don't give a shit. Get back to cutting. Now that I'm through the mucus layer the acid is actually helping me cut. No idea thick the actual stomach wall is though. Getting kind of bored just cutting. Decide to give singing a shot. I am a squat and I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole. Diggy diggy hole. I am a squat and I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole. Diggy diggy hole. Be Mordo Octavius of the Death Watch. Gathered all the equipment for the oxygen destroyer. Now the tech marine has to build it the Leviathan outside is still pounding the city. Hope we can kill it in time. Get a call from the battle barge. They've deployed Dreadnought Isaac. Oh no JPG. Thought I ordered his on button removed when he massacred a bunch of civilians on Dimos III for inhaling orc spores when we were fighting tyrannids. Fucking angry marines. Vox him and demand to know where he is. He puts me on mute. Check his tracker. He's been swallowed by the Leviathan and his cage of stomach acid eating through his systems. Fucking angry marines. Meanwhile the bomb gets finished. Vox Isaac again to tell him we're going to kill the beast and he better not be in it he mutes me again. Send him a text message. You better get out of there or we're leaving you to rot in that thing's corpse. We're not spending several months on the bottom of the ocean digging out a defective dreadnought. Octavius out. Privately hope he gets himself killed. My life will be a lot easier without an angry marine's dreadnought to manage. Be Sergeant Yuri. After Nikolai collects his money, we continue to look for a way out of here. Find a group of civilians headed in a certain direction and decide to follow them. They are joined by more and more till it's a tide of humanity. They are being lead to shuttles my death watch with salamander symbols on their pauldrons. Apparently the death watch leader we spoke with earlier is getting ready to set off some kind of experimental super weapon they are not sure what will happen so they're trying to get out as many as possible. Manage to sneak into one of the ships before take off. Not sure where it's going but anywhere is better than here. You know who the fuck this is. Set claws to puri and keep hacking and slashing. Punch through the stomach of the keiju. Hear the sweet sound of xeno agony as my talons taste air. I widen the hole, like ex-wife heresy, and am rewarded with another satisfying cry of Xeno pain. As the beast writhes around in agony I fall out tumbling end over end into a whirlpool almost as big as your mom. Flip the Xeno the bird as a fall always injury. All the time. Mathefica. As I fall I see a bright flash of light behind the Xeno. Be the great leviathan. Well turns out I only dislodge the crab and a shuttle of some kind. Now my stomach is burning and the thing is still rending me apart. I roar in pain as it finally emerges. It gets trapped in the whirlpool I naturally create. As I'm dying I see a light behind me. Fuck it I'm taking my mutilator with me. Especially as it flipped me the bird. I charge up one final beam. Biggest and most powerful psychic beam I can muster. Final flash beam. Fire out the psychic beam into the trapped metal crab piercing its armor. Beam bursts out the other side of the metal crab. Can hear it violently swearing as it is enveloped by the beam. 
get the satisfaction of seeing it crumble as the beam works its magic. Finally the light reaches me. I feel my back get violently blown up forcing even more of my organs out of the hole. One last pain scream and the beam dies down hopefully finally killing the metal crab my body goes limb and I begin to sink. I don't even have a descendant to take my place as this world's psychic anchor. Nor one that can hold up within that black ruins I slumbered within. At least I didn't get disinterested. The scavengers of the world can enjoy a meal. Be Mordo Octavius of the Death Watch. The oxygen destroyer has been completed and launched in an automated sub towards the beast. Before the bomb detonates I notice brother Isaac has literally clawed his way through the belly of the beast. Pity. Would have been nice if he died a glorious death here. As I think this the bomb detonates and the beast fires one last beam that utterly envelops brother Isaac. Maybe the Xenos isn't so bad after all. Ahem. He who allows the alien to live shares the crime of its existence emperor. Watch the lifeless corpse slowly drift to the ocean floor. Check in with team 3. They've nearly evacuated all the citizens to the planet's moon good. Cleanup operations can now begin. Time to determine if this hive is worth saving, or if destroying the tomb below will collapse the city. I should probably order the battle barge to scan that moon too. Just in case. But it's probably fine. Also send a team to recover brother Isaac's chassis. Waste not want not. Bezork Warbus Roigit. Dar Stomper blew up ages ago and Dar Red October hasn't been seen since. Rage Warbus. Ah wells guess we'll have to zog off somewhere else. Beaky's have arrived but I'm not in dar mood to fight. Can't look for me missing and either. Order dar boys to head to our secret camp. Where's got a few ships over there to get us off this rock. Better hope dar beakies don't find this sub we're on. Similarly built to dar red October. Is called as boot as boot begins its quick journey back to dar camp. Shame where's got a loss of scrap. Ah well where's can scrap das boot when we get back to base. Be Isaac. While I'm falling and flipping off the monster after clawing my way free of it, it fires one last final shot at me. Just like MEX. Ow oh, fuck. Shit fuck. Fucking fuck balls. Fuck ass. Fuck. Foo This actually hurts quite a bit. I can feel my body fucking boiling in my sarcophagus. Get knocked into the wall of the whirlpool. Slam into the ocean floor several time bouncing and swearing with every hit and sent flying through the sea. Hear the dreadnought denting and breaking around me. Finally skid to a stop and slam into a rock that cracks. Can't taste blood. Feel like I'm on fire. Feel my neural interface is damaged and sparking in my brain. Can't feel anything aside from pain. And I think I got water up my nose. Still I fucking cling to life like everything. I'll think of something later. I'll be damned if after everything that fucking coward Mora doubt Lee. A tech nerd is looking down at me from atop the rock the fuck are you looking at? A few days later. The Death Watch are packing up to leave the planet. Being sincere, Honorable Mordo Octavius. We are present for you to thank you for saving our world. A hover pallet with something covered in a sheet comes in. The tech priest removes the covering revealing the repaired form of Isaac the Brutalus Dreadnought. We have taken the liberate of fishing out and restoring this honorable fallen battle brother for you. Though it was no easy task. When we found him many of his circuits were fried. His chassis was dented from impacts and ocean pressure. Along with being burned with acid and in the Leviathan's breath weapon. Even his life support system had seemingly failed. Yet through some miracle he managed to cling to life long enough for us to fix him. Almost like he had some kind of unknowable force keeping him alive. Thanks to all that participated in this thread. See you next time.